This is Dalton Edelsberg. We're here with Christian Shaw at the Skirball Center. Moments, hours before her show, which is taking place at 8 p.m. tonight. Thanks yes. so much for joining us. Oh, this is the perfect way to get rid of my jitters. <laughs> Great. So I know you went to Northwestern University. What was the funniest memory or funniest thing you did in college? Oh, <laughs> I just remembered it. Um, well, I wanted to be a theater major at, at Northwestern, but they were totally full of theater students, and they wouldn't let me in because I was also a transfer student, so there was a weird glitch in the system where if you were a transfer, you couldn't switch majors. So <clears throat> I staged a guerrilla performance in the dean's office involving uh, some new friends I made, and a classical guitarist, and basically we did Greek tableaus, and then Cassandra came out and said why Kristen should be a theater major. And it turned out that that was actually the most uh, performance studies thing I could have done, which was the major I was trying to get out of. <laughs> so the dean was like, I think you're in the right spot. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So you recently came out with your hilarious book, The Sexy Book of Sexy Sex. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of, I was reading about a lot of the stats are showing that, for example, 14% of 35 to 44-year-olds aren't really having too much sex anymore. Do you of, of aren't having that much sex? Fourteen year old? Sorry, thirty five to forty four years. Oh, did you say? For, oh, okay. I, 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 I didn't. Hopefully, I. Didn't. I hope I didn't hear that then. <laughs> uh, but I mean, if they are, I guess they should just wear protection. <laughs> well, my question was: Do you think college kids are having enough sex today? Oh, um, well, then I would say I, I just have no idea. What I would hope is that college kids are studying very hard, and so they wouldn't have time for the sex. Because um, once you get out of college, you have a lot of time for sex. But but in college, you have a lot of opportunities to hook up with people that you don't have outside of college, so maybe you should have more sex. I don't know. I didn't really have much sex in college. Not for, by choice. <laughs> <laughs> so I know it was a tough decision to not publish your book with uh, an anonymous name. Are you happy with the decision you made to publish it with your name? Your yeah, of course. I'm proud of it now. I mean... You know, I was worried that people would think I was a bit too vulgar, but who cares? You know, <laughs> like, what? how would I want people to perceive me like a, like a little goody two-shoes? I'm a, clearly a vulgar person, <laughs> so let the world know. <laughs> um, you're the senior women's issues correspondent for The Daily Show. Are you going to the rally to restore sanity, and why should NYU students go? Oh, well, NYU students should definitely go because I think it's going to be, a, like, a, a remarkable event. And, uh, you know, the first time in history <laughs> that The Daily Show and Colbert Report has done something like this. So, um, you should definitely go be like, the 60s, right? You can find your flowers or whatever and put them in your hair and laugh at Jon Stewart. Are you going to be going? I will not be going. Um, I'm doing this play through the Lincoln Center and the 30th. Uh, is our last tech rehearsal, and we are, we're shooting live guns, and I couldn't get out of it for safety reasons. <laughs> I read about Coward, the show that you're in, and I was curious, what role are you going to be playing, and why did you decide to take on this, um, you know, theater production? Well, I will be playing Isabelle Dupree. She's a noble. Um, and yeah, it takes place in the 18th century. It's about dueling. Uh, it's funny, and it's also just an interesting take on dueling and how people who had money were allowed to murder other people who had money and it was totally legal. Uh, I, I, think, I think they lost like 10,000 men in like the span of 10 years or so. I don't know, there's crazy numbers, but in any case, it's a funny, it's funny to me how history keeps repeating itself with that. And how if you watch like Dominic Dunn, Power and Privilege, which is a spooky show, but it's just about how people who have money can like play with the system and get off. So it still doesn't cease to happen even now. But it's a funny play and I get to have a fake accent and, you know, shoot guns. <laughs> who would pass that up? <laughs> Um, you were in. You were. You guest starred in two of the top comedies on TV today, Modern Family, and a couple years ago, How I Met Your Mother. Do you have a preference on which show you think is funnier? Or which you like more? <laughs> well, I, um, I like them both. I don't know. Uh, they're both good. They appeal to people in different ways. I enjoyed <clears throat> Modern Family more because um, uh, because it was a single camera. 
uh, multi-camera sitcoms are harder for me to grasp. Um, even though they're like plays, I guess it shouldn't be. Yeah. They're both great. Yay! <laughs> and the casts are wonderful. Yeah. On both, I mean, I had long-lasting friendships. <laughs> Not, but I mean, I could have. I'm sure if I had a more of a reoccurring. <laughs> So you played Trixie, the dinosaur in Toy Story 3 that was out this past summer. Are you ever worried about children maybe Googling your name and, you know, seeing the sexy book of sexy sex instead of Toy Story 3? Yes. I, I was worried immediately, but I'd already been, like, knee-deep into the process of writing the book when I, when I got the job for Toy Story 3, so there's no turning back. So, you know, hopefully they won't find it until they're old enough, but at the same time, um, you know, I think we all discover sex, uh, too early in weird ways, so, you know, what are you gonna do? If they don't find out about sex through my book, I'm sure they'll find it totally. on the internet. <laughs> or, uh, well, well, yeah. So, two more questions. First, I have to ask, who do you like better, Brett or Jermaine? Oh, I like them both the same. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> and final question, um, if you were gonna start a band today, what would you call it? Oh, that's a good question for the for the music festival. Yeah. Mm. CMJ, which is happening right yeah, now. Yeah, CMJ. If I was... Oh, that's a great... Uh, what would I call it? I ha You know, this is, this is a great question because this is a stumper for the ages. I mean, this is, like, <laughs> harder for a band to come up with than coming up with, like, a hit single. Um, you can get back to us, too. It's totally fine. Yeah, I might have to get back to you on that. Because it's got to be good. <laughs> yeah. Maybe um, uh, Calamity Jane. Calamity Jane. That's yes. pretty good. How come Calamity Jane? She was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Old West. Nice. You know, <laughs> I guess I'm in that world right now. Yeah, yeah, I'll call it Calamity Jane. Great. Well, thank you so, so much. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. And, uh, Me too. Can't wait for your show tonight. Yay! Woo! <laughs>